Hi guys and welcome to another Triton video. This time with a question about N-Doc testing. Somebody from the UK has written us, he has tested his products in the past for quality and if they keep what they promise. Now he's asking if it's possible to do something similar with the N-Doc testing service. The answer to this question is for sure yes. You can do such experiments with Endoc. We test for organic carbon, inorganic carbon and nitrogen. Let's see what you can do with these parameters. In the case of organic carbon, you check in for things like dilution agents, gelatins, and carbon sources. When you're looking at organic carbon as a contaminant, it shouldn't be a big amount that you add in. A little amount is quite okay for gelatins in trace element mixes, for example, but if it's a big amount, you really don't want to have it in your tank. We can't recommend to add a lot of dilution agents into a reef aquarium. Nitrogen is very similar in the case of contamination, so Unaware adding nitrogen is not that good. If you already have a lot of nitrate, for example, in your tank, you don't want to get more nitrogen into your tank without being aware you're adding it. Another thing that you can use nitrogen testing for is, for example, to check the concentration of your amino acid solution or anything that you're actually aware putting into your aquarium that you deliver nitrogen to your tank. Inorganic carbon is practically maybe the most interesting parameter that you can check for. You can check things with it like supplementation methods um, for alkalinity and calcium. So you can check how much alkalinity is really in the solution I'm adding to the aquarium. For example, out of your calcium reactor or your two-part method or three-part method, you can compare the things to each other to find out which one is having the most value for you guys. The protocol for such an experiment is pretty easy. So for contamination testing, you can send in every liquid like it is. If you're testing salt, you need to dissolve it and then send it in 35 PSU. If you're testing for inorganic carbon, in the case of the liquid coming out of your calcium reactor, you can also send that one right away. But if you're testing for inorganic carbon in barling two-part, or core seven, let's say, you need to dilute the sample because otherwise you're getting out of the calibration area of our system. So for this, you take the alkalinity liquid, shake it, take five milliliter out of it and dilute it in 95 milliliters of DI water. And then you can send it in and wait for the results. I hope you like that video and it helps you with your experiments. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.